Oh, hello. My name is Casey Ferris. I make videos on post-production here on YouTube. Today we're talking about a little problem that has plagued me for a long time and there's a pretty obvious little solution here that you maybe not know. So, you know, we'll, uh, we'll just, um, here we are inside of the Fusion page of Resolve, and I have this shot right here of these people having a good time by the campfire, and we have some footage of some flames and sparks. Usually what you do if you want to put these two together is you take your fire footage and you'd merge it on top of your normal footage, and you'd get rid of this black here by doing something like taking down this alpha gain. That'll get rid of the darker pixels. But maybe you've ran into a problem like this. When you add the fire footage on top, and you say turn it off and on, it not only adds the fire footage, but it kind of brightens the whole image, just like this. There's a huge difference with this on or off in not only the fire, but also the shadows and everything kind of being brought up. This has been so annoying to me in the past doing composites. So the first thing I think is, okay, maybe what's happening is this footage isn't totally black. And so what we need to do is crush down the blacks so that when we add it with a transparency mode like screen or something like that, it gets rid of all the black and doesn't mess with the rest of the image. So what I'll sometimes do is add like a color corrector and I'll bring down my lift because I want the darkest parts to be darker. And as I do that, look, it darkens everything. Like, what is that? Why is that? Why is that silliness happening? Same thing if you boost up the gain, if you push that up, it makes everything brighter. So what the heck, this is supposed to just color correct the flames and sparks, and instead we're color correcting everything. Well, the reason this happens sometimes is because of 32-bit float color space. And really what that means is if I bring up a color scope here, I can just right click on this left viewer, go to views, and we'll say waveform. And I'll select my color corrector and hit one on the keyboard. And now we can see what this image looks like on the waveform. I'll also bring this up on the second monitor here. And we'll notice that all of this that's supposed to be black is, yeah, it's a little bit above black. And so when we take this lift down and we push it down, look what happens. The black goes down below zero, but look, it's still here and it's just between zero and negative 10. So all of this black is actually darker than black. We just see it as black on our screen, but the data there is actually making it darker than black. So when we merge this, it ends up taking away some of the brightness of everything, even though what it should be doing is just getting rid of the black. So an easy way to make this actually work how you would hope it works is to clamp the values. And what this basically means is that if anything's darker than zero, it just squishes it right at zero. And if anything's brighter than 100, it just squishes it at 100. That's not something you always want to do, but in this case, it is something we want to do. And this color corrector node, all we're really doing is using the gain and the lift. And so I can actually replace this with a brightness and contrast node. And I'll drag that down. And with that selected, I'll bring that up in both of our viewers here. We can go over here and push our lift down so that all the black is under that zero. And then when we click clip black, look what happens. It pushes everything up to be right at that zero. That means that if something is darker than zero, it actually becomes zero. We could do the same for the white. Now it takes all of the brighter things and it just cuts it off at 100. And now when I put these together, if I turn my merge on or off, it doesn't change the brightness of everything else. It's just adding that fire, which is what we wanted. Pretty neat little trick. This is one of those videos that I'm a little bit hesitant to record because uh, for some people, this probably seems really obvious, but I'm thinking if I were confused by this, um, you guys probably are too. By the way, if the whole like color scopes and color levels thing was a little bit confusing, I actually have a video on reading color scopes whoosh, right there. And then you can get nice and scopey, but with less fresh breath than that usually ends up being. Scope, I just saw a commercial for that. Because scope's a common mouthwash brand. It said the first thing in the morning and your breath will feel fresher for hours. Here's the video.